and welcome to Conversations with Calvin, We the Species. And it would take a long time to really fully introduce my guest, Dr. John Anton, forensic geologist. John and I have been chatting for a long time. It's almost endless, his accomplishments. And, and I'm just not going to say any more. I've got to bring John on. Uh, John, it, it is such a pleasure. We've been thinking about doing this for a long time. So, number one, where did you go to school? Uh, and, and what were your areas of study? Well, first of all, I want to thank you, Calvin, for choosing me on your show. Thank you. I thank find you. that an honor. I appreciate that. Uh, so, I, I attended Rutgers. I graduated in 85 with a BA in geology. Then I went on to Temple University, where I got my master's in 91 in geology with a focus on geochemistry and paleontological work. Uh, then I attended CUNY at uh, the Graduate Center in New York City. I got my PhD in 2018 in Earth and Environmental Sciences. And my focus there, my dissertation was on isotopic cosmochemistry, which is just the study of meteorites to contribute towards advancing our understanding of how planets work. So what is, what, exactly what is your profession and, 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 and how many years have you been doing all this stuff? What, how many years of experience? Well, I've been, uh, I'm a forensic geologist. I've been in the uh, geological industry for 35 years. Wow. That, that includes about 25 years as an expert witness for litigations. I own my own uh, environmental consulting business called Enviro Forensic and Geoscience Services, Inc. at Tons River. I have a website. You can find that. Um, that's what is that website? Uh, so yeah, so my website, if you want to look it up, you can go to just any uh, okay. search like Google, put in okay. get, getenviroconsult.com. So getenviroconsult.com. And my phone number is 732-341-2464. And you can also email me at antongeoforensics at gmail, uh, g gmail.com. Yeah. Perfect. So that's basically, did you just answer how people can reach you for like- Yeah, they can reach me that way. That's exactly. how they can reach you. So, uh, and this is probably a loaded uh, question, uh, knowing how I know you and your background and all the things that I've learned about you. Uh, what other professional areas uh, are you involved in? Well, kind of, um, um, I cross scientific disciplines and other sort of things. So I do geo forensic and historic archaeology, uh, dinosaur paleontology, cosmochemistry, as I noted, gold prospecting in Alaska with former cast members of the Discovery Channel's uh, Baron C. Gold series. Wow. I'm, curr I'm currently an um, adjunct environmental professor at OCC, Ocean County College. Mm -hmm. And I have taught at Brookdale Community College and Rowan University in that same capacity at Temple University as a teacher's assistant and as a guest speaker at Hunter College and New York High Schools. Wow. Uh, it, uh, it, you know, I, don't, I just have a hard time processing all that. Uh, I, before, I, I just want to go off topic. Sure. One quick, one quick uh, I think I got a kick out of this question and maybe you'll get a, get a kick out of it uh, too. Um, excluding family and friends. Hmm? John, uh, who would you like, living or dead, who would you like to be stuck in your house with for one day during the pandemic? Wow. Um, Good. I'm glad you said wow. <laughs> <laughs> that one's an uh, interesting question. I never gave right. thought to that. Um, I would guess probably one of the great composers, maybe. Okay. Beethoven or Tchaikovsky. Okay. Something like that, I think. Okay, I, I dig that. I'm, I'm a huge Beethoven fan. Wow. And, okay. and I, I can't even comprehend how these guys, you know, uh, Ode to Joy, uh, how does somebody compose that? It just. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. It completely blows me away. And I listen to Ode to Joy all the time when I want to get inspired. And how, how do they. Now, how come nobody does that kind of work today? By the way, we can talk about that. By the way, I want to say mm -hmm. to the audience that you're, you're going to come back because there's so much to you, and we're going to find ways to come back in other vehicles 
because there's so much to you, your experiences. Oh, thank you. you know, we were talking about Alaska before. That, that's a whole nother show. Uh, what you do in Alaska. So I'm just letting everybody know, you know, we're coming back. So uh, next up, uh, have you made uh, any uh, discoveries? Uh, and uh, if so, what's your favorite one? And because you've probably made a million discoveries. <laughs> I made I made a few. Um, I discovered NASA related ones like um, uh, that Triceratops and its relatives what they're called Triceratopsians, use their crests. So if you think of Triceratops, the dinosaur with the three horns, and he had this yes, big exactly. crest behind it. Exactly. That they, that they used it for low-frequency acoustic enhancement, but basically to hear low-frequency sounds. Um, they can hear them much better with that crest. Were those, were those things auditory? Those? Well, no. It, well, their crest was like our pinna, which is our ear. Right. So if you put your hands behind your ear as I speak even, I'm not raising my voice, you can hear me better. So the crest amplify low frequency sounds. And so they could hear other animals approach them, like T-Rex or whatever, uh, or for communication over long distances. And if you had a herd of them, they could hear just about everything. Uh, so that was one. Another discovery I made was that some dinosaurs like Cetacosaurus use something called gastro, that's all rocks, little rocks in their stomach to absorb heat off the ground and increase their metabolism. So when they basked, the heat was transferred from the ground to the rocks, and the rocks would heat them up and they would live a more active lifestyle. So that was another one. Wow. Um, I, when you uh, switch over to archeology, span I discovered two ancient calendars, possibly Neolithic on the Gettysburg battlefield. Um, I reconstructed the deaths uh, of Jenny Wade, the only civilian killed during the Battle of Gettysburg. Right. Show right. that it was not accidental. Uh, the house still remains where she was killed. She was uh, murdered. She's, yeah, she was. I, I think she was mistaken by the Confederates as uh, troops, uh, as a troop. Um, so, but she was intentionally shot, mistaken as a troop. But it was not an accident, as as reported in, wow. in historical books. Wow. And then I just finished um, a paper on smutty, smutty nose axe murders that happened in 1873. I'm about to publish that. Um, anyway. Wow, wow, wow. So uh, I, have, I have a million questions, but I'm going to jump into, um, do you have any hobbies? I have a few. Okay. I have a few. Uh, art. Um, I, growing up, I didn't know if I was going to become an artist or a musician or a scientist. So I became, I went over to the dark side and became a scientist, but I use my art uh, in science and science in art. I, I paint, I draw realistically, and I incorporate what I know about my subject scientifically into my drawings. And then when I'm stuck on, a, say, a very intense scientific problem, I change my thought approach and I use, I think, abstractly like an artist. And many times this has helped me along. Um, the, the thing with uh, the study with Triceratops, for example, the low frequency sounds, that came out of my knowledge of music and acoustic wow. laws. Wow. I also am a photographer and I do metal detecting with my friend Dustin Scott. You can see his um, stuff on YouTube under Rusty Digger. So he has a YouTube channel, Rusty Digger. Right. Next, I'm trying to get to the other side of John uh, Anton. Are you involved uh, in your community? Uh, um, in any particular way? Yes, I, I try to be. Uh, I used to be a Cub Scout leader in Tons River okay. and an assistant coach, soccer coach. Okay. Now though, um, primarily it's primarily through the church I'm involved with. I attend Calvary Chapel Living Water on Hooper Avenue in Tons River. So okay. um, it's always good, I think, to contribute to, you know, to com community and other people. Right. I try to be as active as I can. Okay. Guess what? We're almost out of time. Okay. I want to thank you. You'll be back. I want to tell everybody, be well, be safe. This is great, John, and you're coming back. I appreciate okay. that. Thanks, thank Calvin. You.